Golden MMA, we are back, I am back, I will be more consistent, more active, there will be videos every single week, I am willing to dedicate myself to this and I will dedicate myself to this. In this episode, I am going to speak about a fight which was announced in the beginning of this week, the fight between Nate Diaz and Hamza Chimaev, a fight which I am very very excited about. Now before I give you my prediction, I must say that this is a very very smart decision on the side of Hamza Chimaev and his team. Why? Because a fight against Nate Diaz is going to bring a lot of attention, it's going to bring a lot of money and it's going to keep Hamza sharp and active. What do I mean? Let me elaborate. Hamza Chimaev is willing to fight against Kamaru Usman, against Leon Edwards, against Kobe Covington, but Usman is going to face Edwards in August and Kobe Covington is obviously not willing to face, to face Hamza Chimaev. So what, what possibilities are there for Hamza? He wants to be active, he wants to fight. Well, Nate Diaz, Nate Diaz who is always willing to accept a fight, who never says no to a fight, who is a real, real fighter, a fighter at heart, is willing to fight his last fight in his UFC contract against Chimaev. A fight against Nate Diaz is going to bring a lot of attention because Nate Diaz is the second biggest name in the UFC, in the company. Number one is Conor McGregor, number two is Nate Diaz. See guys, Nate Diaz is known not only in the UFC, but he's also known to the casual fan, the random person. There are many, many random people, casuals, who know about Nate Diaz, who know about Conor McGregor. But there, but there aren't that many casual people, random people, who know about Hamza Chimaev. So it's a very smart move on the side of Hamza and his team. Because a fight against Nate Diaz is going to bring attention and is going to make Hamza more popular. The hype train will keep on growing. And not only will it grow, it will actually become huge. So Hamza is going to get more attention. He's going to get well paid because this fight will be huge. And he's going to stay sharp. He's going to stay active. He will have a training camp. He will prepare. He will be in top shape. Unlike Kobe Covington, who, who stays on the sideline, we don't know what Kobe is doing. But as you can see, Hamzat is training hard, he's preparing. So Hamzat is staying active, he's staying sharp, he's gonna get well paid, his hype train is going to keep on growing. And that's a very, very smart decision on his side and on his team's side. Nate Diaz, it's his last fight on his contract. And this shows you what kind of warrior Diaz is. Diaz is willing to accept any fight. Diaz is not afraid of anybody. Now many people, many fighters say, oh, I'm not afraid, I'm not scared of anyone. But then when the call comes, when, when, when uh, an, a very uncomfortable matchup gets presented, those fighters reject, they're not willing to fight. Well, guess what? That's not applicable to Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz would fight against anyone. He's not scared of anybody. Huge respect to Diaz. I'm a huge fan of him and his brother Nick. However, my prediction for this fight is that it's going to be a very, very dominant performance for Hamza Chimaev. I believe that Chimaev will go forward from the very first second of the fight. He will put pressure on Nate. He will get in there aggressively. Punches, kicks. He will split, split open Nate. Nate will be a bloody mess. Chimaev will take him down. And then with his punches and elbows, with his massive and powerful ground and pound, I believe Chimaev is going to finish Diaz. Now, you might say, Nate Diaz is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Nate Diaz is very, very good on the ground. And I agree. I completely agree on that. But you have to have in mind, Chimaev has brutal ground and pound game. If Chimaev is on top of you, the chances that you survive are very, very low. And as much as Nate Diaz is a phenomenal grappler, a black belt in, black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I do not see Nate Diaz surviving on the ground against Chimaev. I believe also standing, Chima, Chimaev is faster, he's more aggressive, more explosive, he's younger. I believe Chimaev will be dominant standing and on the ground. And I believe it will be a technical knockout finish. It might be in the first round, it might be in the second, but in any case, 
I do not see Nate Diaz going into the third round. I believe that Nate will be finished in the set in the first or second round, or there will be a doctor stoppage because Nate will be a bloody mess. And again, I'm a big fan of Diaz. I am a fan of Diaz. I like Diaz as a fighter, but I just don't see him lasting against Chimaev. And it's a smart move, as I said, a smart move on the side of Chimaev and his team. A fight which go which is going to keep him sharp, which is going to make him look very, very good, which is going to bring the, the attention of the casual fan, which is going to, to, to bring a lot of money to the bank. So a smart decision on the side of Hamzat, and I believe it will be a dominant performance. Make sure to subscribe for the channel, guys. I will be more active. I will be posting more and more videos. I am now focused on this channel, so we will grow together. Make sure to subscribe and see you next time. Us.